Welcome to today's video lesson. Today we're going to be talking about the role of a security control assessor. Particularly, we're going to be looking at the SAP, uh, which is the security assessment plan. As a security control assessor, your main job is to perform security control assessments. But one of the first things that you do is step one, create what's called the SAP, Security Assessment Plan. So the Security Assessment Plan is a document um, that details what you're going to do as it pertains to the assessment. So you'll have the system name categorization, you'll have a bunch of information that pertains to the assessment, having um, the types of uh, things you would do like testing, interviewing, um, and uh, what is the other one? Examining um, the system during the assessment. You'll also have uh, the schedule, so the dates of um, the assessment, what controls will be assessed and on a particular date so you'll have like a schedule in there and then you'll have what your um, laws or standards that you're going to use uh, during the assessment you'll also have um, the names of the POCs and things of that nature in there so this is something that you should have ready um, so that uh, when you do your kickoff you're able to um, get more information uh, to complete that document and also provide information to that pro um, project team. So then the next thing you would do is uh, a kickoff meeting. So you'll have your kickoff meeting. The kickoff meeting is ba basically a meeting between the security person and um, the team that's trying to get an ATO authority to operate. So um, that's the whole point of the whole ANA situation. You're trying to get permission to use a particular system. Um, so, or permission to use it on the network, all right? So the kickoff meeting, you'll sit down with the project team, um, basically go over what you're going to do schedule find out information from them about the system sometimes you get like a demo um, about the system uh, you'll get to answer questions uh, that the project team might have like oh how long is it going to take um, you know who's going to be involved and uh, you as the security professional will provide the answers and you also ask your questions um, like, oh, oh, who is going to be the technical POC when I need to conduct my interviews? Um, ask different questions so you could uh, understand more about the system. After the kickoff, then uh, you go into the assessment. So using your um, SAP, your security assessment plan as a guide, you go into the assessment um, based on this document called NIST 800-53A. Um, so that's going to be your um, your guide as far as security controls and questions to ask. Then after the assessment, uh, obviously some controls will pass, some controls will fail. Um, so the controls that fail will be written down in what's called a security assessment report. After that, um, you go over the results of that assessment with the project team and the system owner and let them know, hey, these are the findings. And if you cannot, um, you need to fix them. If you can't fix them, these will result in what's called POAMs, Plan of Actions and Milestones. So these uh, plans of action and milestones will be basically a um, way, a plan to fix all those findings. So you're going to have a, a timetable on when you're going to fix it, who's going to fix it, how much it's going to cost to fix it, um, and, and things of that nature. 
then lastly one of the tasks that you do as a security control assessor is continuous monitoring sometimes it's called information system security um, continuous monitoring ISCM so this is when uh, you take a subset of the controls and you assess them over a time period sometimes they do it in a year sometimes they do it like uh, in three years so it's like a plan to um, continuously assess security controls so here is an example of the SAP the security assessment plan and I got this from FedRAMP. Um, if you go to FedRAMP.org or FedRAMP.gov, I believe, forward slash uh, template or templates, I'll put the link in the bio for that exact uh, URL. But um, even if you go to Google and type in security assessment plan template, FedRAMP, you'll see this uh, document you can download for free. Now this is basically tailored to cloud systems, but I think it's also very useful. So here um, you would put the information, just plug in the information you need. And this template actually gives you uh, guidance on what to put in each field. So here, it's saying um, the organization that prepared the document, um, self-explanatory stuff, record of changes. So any updates to the document would be recorded here. So the different version number, um, the author, the description of what was changed and the date. Uh, same thing with revision history and here's a table of contents so like as I was telling you laws regulation standards so here you would basically say you're using NIST 800-53 uh, A 800-53 NIST 800-37 and a different um, NIST guidance that you could provide as your standard you could also add FISMA uh, and the different laws uh, for cybersecurity then you add your scope um, and let's see if we can look at it so here will be the scope um, you have your system name and title um, every system has a unique identifier that the uh, your client will provide you to put in uh, your SAP, the information system name, and then abbreviation. So every system has an abbreviation. It could be something like the purchasing system, uh, purchasing record system. So you would call it the PRS. So you would find this uh, common activity within the federal government. Here will be the location. So you put the location of the system. If it's a data center, you put the data center address and description. Any IP addresses and things of that nature will be in here. So I'm going to scroll through. Uh, let's see. Okay, here's another good one. Uh, roles tested for slated for testing, but um, most apps would just have like the different roles. Um, which would be the assessor, um, system owner, um, authorizing official, and the technical POCs. And here for assumptions, you would put information like uh, we're assuming that everything is going to be halted while we do the assessment. You guys can't continue to make modifications to the system while the uh, assessment is ongoing um, some we're assuming that you would provide credentials if need be if the assessor needs to scan something uh, make authenticated scans that you 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 would provide the assessor the uh, username and password to do so 
So that's, those are examples of uh, assumptions. And then methodology would be would be um, saying that you would you as the assessor would um, test based on this 800-53a um, and then speak about um, examining um, so the assessor would analyze review inspect observe any type of artifacts that, that is provided then interview which means that the assessor will uh, conduct interview, um, interviews with the individuals uh, that are assigned to the system and um, test. So the, the assessor would do um, tests. So if you say that your system is set up so that if we enter the incorrect password three times, it's going to lock out the account the assessor could test that to see um, if that is true. The assessor could also run scans uh, on the system, so that will uh, fall under testing. Then schedule, um, like I mentioned before, you would mention the, um, the dates and times um, of testing or, or assessment based on uh, each security control so you would have ac ac control and you have the date and uh, um, the date not not the time but the date of, of when um, you're going to test or assess uh, that control then on under um testing schedule you basically have your um whole uh, schedule not just uh, the assessment but you'll have like the series of activities that will um, take place so your kickoff meeting uh, when you're going to develop the SAP um, the meeting to review the SAP finalize the SAP so things uh, assessment activities will be listed here and you'll have uh, uh, the start date and finish date you have your rules of engagement which will detail um, what you're actually going to do um, so we're, we're going to scan we're going to use scanning tools and it's basically a way to keep people informed and everyone's on the same page of what needs to be done then under disclosures you'll basically list um, other things that the security testing may entail and here's um, a list of some of those um, activities here you would say what will not be included um, and of course communicating the test results so that will be uh, using your your SAR security assessment report so and in a nutshell this is uh, what the SAP is um, again I advise you to use a good template the template will have all the um, summaries of the different sections within this the SAP and um, most of it is self-explanatory you just plug it in information that you obtain from your client all right I hope this was helpful see you in the next video don't forget to subscribe and like. We're also on IG at CyberFirst Solutions. Thank you.